Hey, what's up guys? This is Motion back for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So I finally got my UI Goku video playthrough that is uploaded now to YouTube. You can check it out. I will put that in the last 20 seconds of this video. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to take and showcase some events and stuff that are coming, whether it be what we think before the three year anniversary and some of the events at the three year anniversary. So we're about, um, we're a little less than two months away. We're about a month and a half away from the year three anniversary. And if you haven't followed JP, then this would be a good video for you to start looking forward to team building and what you're going to need to do to beat some of these events. So what I wanted to go through was some of these that are in, or some of these events and stuff that are from Japan and then we'll look at the uh, the wiki so shout out to DBZ space for supplying us all of these token events and anything you need to know about these events as well as the wiki page which you will see here in just a moment that pretty much breaks everything down that dbz space does except it's a little easier to read at least from my point of view it's a little easier to read because they transfer everything to english so what i wanted to do on here was let's start off with a, let's start off clearing clearing a few things all right so we don't know in the global database we don't know how these events are going to line up because we should have gotten ss3 bardock already right but we haven't uh ss3 broly came as you remember almost uh, two and a half three months later than it should have and we got all the categories including ui goku well now ui goku and jiren is here only a month and a half after it's showcased in japan so obviously they knew they were going to have problems with ss3 bardock right it's, it's this heroes kind of thing it for some reason, Dragon Ball Heroes is harder to get licensing for that, which is a problem with SS3 Broly. Even though they are featured in other games, the main feature that showcases them and the license that Bandai Namco is trying to get is from Dragon Ball Heroes. So this poses a very big problem about getting the licensing, thus we see a huge setback in the times that these are dropped right because they're already in the database let's just let's just get that straight they're already in the database but the problem is is they cannot showcase them on the game until they get that licensing otherwise they could get sued big time so i am counting on ss3 bardock being released later and not before the three-year anniversary right so i'm going to show his stuff in the order that it should have been right all these are in the order that it should have been do not take them, you know, lightly as, oh, hey, you know, these are, these are set in stone, right? They're not. They're not set in stone, obviously, global. Definitely throws things out of order a little bit. But we're going to go over a few of the events, and I'm going to show, I'm going to share what I think is going to happen, right? So we're going to look at the SS3 Bardock event. It should have already been here, but instead we got UI Goku, which I'm not complaining. Mine's at 100%. It's rainbow. It's Skittles, right? So, this is SS3 Bardock, right? He's actually an amazing card. He's the SS3 category lead. And his event is actually pretty difficult. Um, I don't know if y'all are going to... Let's see. If you look at it, you, you face all the versions of Bardock, right? You got base form, you got Super Saiyan, you got Super Saiyan 2, and then you go to Super Saiyan 3. So this guy has an incredible amount of health. Look at that. On the fifth phase, eight bars of health. And you have to defeat him in three turns. So what does this remind you of? SS3 Goku, right? So you have that turn restriction as well as a massive amount of health bars and he can do some damage to you. So what you do to mitigate that is you, you take and you use all Frieza and coolers, right? So the best combination in order to win this event is by using Resurrected Warriors and you put this guy right here, the lead, um, Angel Golden Frieza, and you link him with his buddy, 
golden freezer, right? The tech one. The reason why is because they share so many good links. They pretty much are the identical person, except he hits way harder than him. But use that on one rotation. And then you can also use the angel golden Frieza with a cooler on the other rotation and you will completely destroy this event. So you're gonna have to do massive amounts of damage, but with those links, you're gonna be able to do it. So, excuse me there. All right, I don't think this is gonna come before the three year anniversary. And the reason why is because the licensing issue, it should have already been here. And then now that we're getting into these last phases, um, we've already gotten uh, Rose and Vegeta Blue, which was supposed to be the month before the year three anniversary. So we've already gotten that. We've already gotten UI Goku, right? So there's a couple of more things and you're about to see that I feel are going to take that place. And then this is going to get pushed back. To where UI Goku and Jiren were supposed to be. So the next one that we should get is going to be the Haruta Garn. All right. So Tapion comes on a double raids banner, and then that's where we get introduced to the LRSS3 Goku. Right. Amazing, amazing card, top tier card. So Tapion is the Giants category lead, and. Um, the banner was all right, and the best thing about it was it was double rates. So I don't know how they're going to do double rates banners with the incorporation of GSSR now. That's going to be an interesting way. But either way, this event is actually pretty daunting in itself, right? So Tapion's essay is farmable. So if you end up getting him, please do not. Do not, do not, do not, do not put in Elder Kai's because you get him in the SSR form and he is farmable. So, uh, as well as there is a story event to where you can get Tapion's flute to help with this event. On the third stage, he has nine bars of health, approximately 3.7 million. That is intense 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 and he loves to dodge he will dodge and uh all like super attacks counters additional attacks doesn't matter he will dodge everything so using the flute can actually help or if you just have a massive defense team like you could probably stop him i would bring a super tech team on this and uh or super agl and i'll tell you why so, as you know, the new, the new Tapion, right? There's two of them. There's the Tech version, which is pretty decent, and then there is the AGL, which is Harutagon, and he's pretty decent as well. So you also have the SS3s right there, including SS3 Goku, the LR version, right? So if you use Super Tech, you're going to use Tapion, and you're going to use the LRSS3 Goku if you manage to pull him but I would rather use Super AGL because you can use the EZA Goku that we already have mine's at 100% and you can use Tapion right Rudigon and they're gonna fit on this team and they're going to wreck especially this guy right here the EZA Goku if you have him EZA at 140 then he is going to destroy this event absolutely do insane amounts of damage and you won't have to worry about the nine health bars because he's going to sit there and consistently knock it off so i would th those are those are the teams that i would use i would use super agl in order to get through this do not put elder kai's into tapions because uh he is farmable so I keep in mind the AGL one is not farmable because he is a giant. It, it Harutagarn in there is like his giant. But if you look here, the tech one is farmable. So do not put Kai's into him. Farm up his SA. It's a 50% chance once you get this physical one. Alright, so I think that's gonna come here in the next couple of weeks. UI Goku goes away on the 
second, I think, the second or third of June. And then we're going to have this month, uh, month and a week period because the it should be on the 10th or the 11th is when the three-year anniversary is going to hit, right? So we're going to have this month-long period of dryness, right? So what perfect way to introduce a new LR before you go to the dual LR summons, right? So this is the perfect opportunity to bring in Tapion and the Giants category as well as SS3 Goku. So that's what I think is going to happen the next one. Um, all right, so we're going to get into these. We're going to touch on these um, at right at the three-year anniversary. So LR, as you know, or if you haven't followed JP, on the three-year anniversary, it is going to be a dual LR featured Doken summons, right? So these guys are going to be on normal Doken banners, and they're going to be featured, right? So amazing cards. The top two is Gogeta and Vegeta, which we'll take a look at here in just a moment. So these guys worth your summons. It's a buy uh, buy three get one free on both banners. Do it. Spend your stones. If you're if if there's any point that you want to spend your stones on the game on the next upcoming banners, these are it. Right? These are it. Go ham. Go crazy. So when you're looking at this event on the, the super stage, you're gonna you're gonna fight all forms of him, right? And then you're gonna fight the transformation. So Super Janimba does help out on the first three stages, but on the fourth one he loses his damage reduction. So for me, I would use extreme STR. And the reason why is because this Janimba already hits really hard through the first three stages and if you have a super uh, or if you have a extreme str team that's pretty stacked especially with lr broly then this last stage isn't going to be too bad he still hits extremely hard right extremely extremely hard but i think with that type advantage as well as um janimba's blocking ability and dodging ability it'd be awesome so that's what i would do is i would look at your either super or your extreme str teams because that guy will ko you he is he hits extremely hard so now that we've done gogeta let's go to vegeta real quick and we'll knock this out just like gogeta you fight all forms of him and then you fight vegeto so where uh, Gogeta has Janimba, this you have Kid Buu. And there's a big problem with him. Whereas Janimba, you have a lead that you have a type advantage over. On this one, you have this physical Kid Buu, which is alright. Not great, but alright. And that's it as far as type advantage. If you throw in this Kid Buu, like I have him, I have him at 100%, right? He's an amazing unit. I got a lot of dodge on him. I'm still scared to throw him in. And the reason why is because if he doesn't dodge and he gets hit by him, it's almost a one-shot KO. Like he will absolutely wreck your world. So there's a reason why these are the, the, the toughest ones. If anything, I would run extreme physical and the reason why is because you could throw this kid boo on there and that team is already ridiculous anyway with uh crits and um additional attacks everything you have cooler omega i mean even sin sin and black they're they're still really good right i would run the extreme physical team against super or against uh lr vegeto or lr vegeta Vegito, yeah, Vegito. I, I don't know why I keep thinking Vegito and Vegeta. I keep I mix those up all the time. Either way, I would run extreme fizz on that just just to try and counteract that type advantage. So the neck after that, we're looking at 
Well, we're on a wait. We're gonna we're gonna go to this first. So the second half of the year three should bring Doken Battlefield 2.0, if if they allow that, as well as these guys. So you're gonna need these guys for future events, and the whole Ginyu Force comes out right. So on certain days of the week that the types are. So you know Monday is AGL, Tuesday is Tech, you know all that. So on these days of the week, you're going to be able to farm up their super attack as well as each one of them have their own potential orbs, right? So you have a chance of getting, upping their SA and getting the potential orbs, right? It is a grind because the drop rate is uh, decent, but I think you have more of a, uh, or a better drop rate of getting the orbs rather than the characters themselves. So it could be a grind but it's worth it this down here this event right here is going to open up and allow you to get all of the orbs for each one of the characters that you need right so each one of these of the ginyu force is a uh, you can get them to 100 percent sa10 for free fantastic story cards do them because each one of them have special abilities that will allow the team to pretty much synergize together and it's it's one of the most ridiculous teams ever um as well as if you get all of them to a hundred percent right all of them to a hundred percent you get the leader which is the lr captain ginyu goku so that's another that's another reason why you want to take and do all this is because you have a fully synergized 100% team for free. So either way do these and this should come like I said at the uh, part 2 of the year 3 celebration. So just after that and this this could be this could be a little weird right so the reason why i think tapion is going to come next is because in order to beat this guy's event he is weak to the giants category right so we're gonna have to have tapion before we get turles He's another, he's another one that uh, does the transformation mechanic, and we already have that in the game, obviously, with UI Goku now. So he can come at any time, and I think he's going to come directly after the year three anniversary, leading into what I'm going to assume is SS3 Bardock. So, I mean... This guy is actually pretty good. He's a very underrated character when it comes to JP. So I would use him in extreme AGL. It's another one of those that he's going to he's going to hit really well and he's going to tank really well too. So when he transforms too, if, if I remember correctly, when he transforms, it's a lot like um, a lot like a grade 8 mechanic. And that he does, uh, he does it for either one or two turns. I cannot remember. But either way, he has a lot of health, and he, I mean, you just got to take and bust it through. Now, I don't necessarily think that you're going to need to use the Giants category because the Giants category is meh. It's not great. But either way. You should be able to beat him with pretty much any team. Uh, just bring a couple items like some Sensu Beans or Dendes or stuff. That way you can take and tank it. So you need a tanky team that can do a crap ton of damage. So with this information out, we've pretty much gone out for the next about three months or so leading up to the current events in JP, which would be, where's SS Blue Evolution um, Vegeta. You're going to need all of the Ginyu Force. All of these guys are going to. Um, you're going to need them for. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? 
the Easy A Goku or the Easy A Gohan, right? The Easy A Gohan event will is another thing that allows you to get the Gohan plus get him to a hundred percent with the orbs, and then you well, let's see what doing. and then you can take an Easy A him up to one forty. So it's a, that's another Easy A. A free 140 unit rainbowed and you're gonna need those guys for the easy a for golden for or for uh, full power Frieza excuse me easy a for full power Frieza will come at some point later on but the these next events that are coming up if you look at it don't think that Bardock is coming until after or after the year three anniversary, maybe right before Turles or right after Turles, this guy should be coming in the next couple of weeks. That's that is my guess on it. Of course, I don't know anything is definite, but I'm I'm going off the speculation, right? These guys, am amazing cards, ridiculous events. Get ready because it's going to be a grind. <laughs> Um, Turles is actually really good. His event, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble with. But these guys definitely farm up all five of them. Get the leader. It's a free LR. And 100% on each one of these. So you're going to need these guys more than you think for future events. Especially with the Namekian Saga out. And the full power Frieza EZA uses the Namekian Saga characters. So this whole team synergizes and it's amazing. So go ham, do the grind, get all the characters at 100%. So Global is going to end UI Goku, I believe, on the 2nd or the 3rd of June. So get ready for the Tapion, which I believe we should get some word on it. But I'm, I'm almost willing to bet that that is going to be how they're going to do it. Is they're going to bring Tapion, then the LRs, and then they're going to bring either SS3, Bardock, or Turles next. So, if you like what you see, go down there, smash the like button. That allows me to know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. And go down to the comment section and tell me what event you are looking forward to in the next couple of months as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date on more doka battle content check out all my other videos as well as check out uh 94 stones i do some really good covers and things um, i use in some of my videos these events it's going to be a little dry but these events once the three year anniversary hits is going to be amazing you're going to have so much to do when that time comes so until the next video, this is Motion, signing off.